In this video, we'll cover non-parametric measures of correlation, specifically lambda. Lambda is a useful measure of correlation for nominal level data. To illustrate lambda, I'll use this data. In this cross-tabulation, 331 individuals were asked their favorite kind of food, Chinese, French, or Italian, and their favorite kind of music, classical, jazz, or rock. There are a couple of equations that we can use to calculate lambda. I'll start with the general equation for lambda as a PRE measure, or a proportionate reduction in error measure. PRE measures tell us how much better we can predict one variable when we know how individuals rate on a second variable. We'll start by using food preference as our independent variable. Variable. And so the question is, how much better at guessing individuals' musical taste are we when we know their food preference? Imagine that these 331 individuals are in a room, and they leave the room one by one. As each individual leaves, we have to guess what their favorite kind of music is. Now suppose that we did not know their food preference. That is, all we know is that of the 331 individuals, 80 like classical music, 112 like jazz music, and 139 like rock music. If I were to guess what kind of music each individual likes, I would guess rock because rock has the highest number of cases. So I would be correct 139 out of 331 times. This is a better rate than I would have if I guessed classical or jazz. If I guessed classical, I would only be correct 80 out of 331 times. And if I guessed jazz, I would only be correct 112 out of 331 times. The number of errors that I would make in guessing an individual's musical taste, only knowing the distribution on musical taste, is equal to the 80 errors I would make for those who like classical music, plus the 112 errors that I would make for those who like jazz. In other words, I would be correct 139 times, and I would be incorrect 192 times. Now, imagine that each of those 331 people had a sticker on, and that sticker said Chinese, French, or Italian, depending on which was their favorite food. And again, I want to guess their musical taste. For the individuals with a Chinese sticker on, I would guess jazz, because I would be correct 55 times for those 110 people. And this is a higher number of correct answers than if I guessed rock or classical. In terms of the errors, for those with the Chinese sticker, I would be incorrect 8 times for those who actually like classical music, and 47 times for those who truly like rock. In other words, I would be correct 55 times by guessing jazz for those who like Chinese food, and I would be incorrect 55 times as well. For those with a French sticker, I'll guess that they like classical music, again because I'll be correct the most number of times. The number of errors that I'll make is equal to 18 for those who actually like jazz, plus 8 for those who actually like rock, or I would be correct 52 times and incorrect 26 times. Finally, for the 143 people wearing an Italian sticker, I would guess rock. The errors I would make from guessing rock is equal to the 20 individuals who like classical plus the 39 individuals who like jazz. Or, I would be correct 84 times and I would make 59 errors. If we sum these three errors, the number of errors for those who like Chinese food, and the number of errors for those who like French food, and for those who like Italian food, I would make a total of 140 errors. Using this formula, the PRE formula, lambda is equal to, in parentheses, errors without the independent variable, or 192, minus errors with the independent variable, or 140, divided by errors without the independent variable, which gives us a value of 0.271. As a proportion, lambda varies between 0 and 1, and it tells us how much better we are at guessing or predicting an individual's musical taste 
when we know their food preference. So we would be approximately 27% better at predicting musical taste given that we know food preference. Or we would make about 27% fewer errors. There's another formula for calculating lambda that focuses more on correct guesses than on errors, and it's shown here. m sub dv is equal to the largest marginal total among categories of the dependent variable. So our dependent variable is musical taste. The largest marginal or total is 139 f sub iv is equal to the sum of the largest cell frequencies within each category of the independent variable. Chinese, French, and Italian are the categories of the independent variable. Our largest frequency within Chinese is 55. Our largest frequency within French is 52 and our largest frequency within Italian is 84. If we sum these values, we arrive at 191. Using this formula for lambda, lambda is equal to, in parentheses, f sub iv minus m sub dv, close parentheses, divided by, again in parentheses, our n, or 331, minus m sub dv. And you'll notice we arrive at the same lambda, 0.271. Again, this tells us how much better we are at predicting musical taste when we know food preference. We can also calculate a lambda for how much better we can guess food preference based on musical taste. In other words, treating musical taste as the independent variable. If we did not know musical taste and we wanted to guess the food preference of our 331 people, we would guess Italian. That is, Italian is the largest marginal total among categories of the dependent variable. And in this case, our dependent variable is food preference. And so this is our m sub dv. Next, we look for the largest cell frequency for each category of our independent variable, musical taste. So for classical music, our largest frequency is 52. For jazz music, our largest frequency is 55. And for rock music, our largest frequency is 84, those that like Italian food. The sum of these is equal to 191. So our lambda, treating music as the independent variable, is equal to 191 minus 143 divided by 331, our n, minus 143, which gives us a lambda of 0.255. This means if we were guessing what kind of food people prefer, we would be 26% better guessers when we know what kind of music the individual likes. In summary, we are 27% better predictors of musical taste when we know food preference, and we are 26% better guessers of food preference when we know musical taste. Since our lambda for food as the independent variable is higher, this means that food is a better predictor of musical taste than musical taste is a predictor of food.